Here we have a 1996 2.5 harness. This is from Legacy. It's going into a 1974 VW bus. We have the fuel pump relay, main ignition relay. This is the blower relay, which I am going to repurpose as the fan relay. The OBD2 connector, the ECU. We have the test mode and select monitor connectors. We have the big grommet here. Goes to the O2 sensors and the engine connectors. We have the igniter connector, the starter. This leg goes out to the mass airflow, PSS, SV, and atmospheric pressure sensor. So now I'm gonna strip the harness and get all the loose wires identified. I removed the split loom and pulled all the loose wires out, as well as locating and identifying the wires that terminated at the ECU using the ECM pinout chart. You can get this on the Busseroo website. I was also able to get everything routed through the grommet and routed for how it'll be in the bus. We have the fuel pump, the uh, fan, and the VSS, as well as all of the engine connectors and starter cable. All of the wiring connections have been made, so now I have the Elm 327 connected wirelessly to the iPad. Got a little power source powering everything, and we're doing some testing. So testing the fuel pump relay with a little test lamp there. You can see that it's clicking on and off because we have the test mode connectors connected. So the other thing I generally test is just connecting to the ECU with the Elm or the uh, OBD Fusion app. But then I also test the VSS, make sure that it's triggering. Since it's a proximity sensor, it picks up the CV axle uh, bolts on the drive axle and it's just metal so it passes right by and you can see that little LED clicks on. Next up I'm just going to throw some split loom on, get it labeled and get it ready to ship. Here is the 96 Legacy harness with the split loom and labels on. It's ready to install and then get taped up. This is going into a 1974 VW bus.